Hey guys, welcome back to Byte Review. Earlier this year I got a new camera and with that new camera came the ability to shoot 4K. And as fun as it's been to shoot in 4K and have all those editing capabilities, I found my current setup a little slow and laggy when dealing with it, so it was time for an upgrade. For this upgrade I'm only focusing on the guts. I'm happy with my case and the other bits, so it's only the motherboard, RAM and CPU I'll be looking at. Let's get started with the processor. This was the hardest thing to pick for the new build. I edit in Premiere Pro, so picking one that works particularly well for that was paramount. And if I'm honest, the choice between going with a Ryzen setup or an Intel one was neck and neck. After a bit of research and consideration, I shot for the Intel i7-7700K over the Ryzen 1 700X. So we'll see how that pans out. In terms of RAM, I'm sticking with Corsair and going for 16GB of DDR4 at 3000MHz. I know 32GB would probably suit me better for editing in general, but I've got space in there to upgrade it if I do need that later on. For the motherboard, I only had two things I really wanted to get out of it for the new one. One was support for the i7 KB Lake, obviously, and the other was to finally have a USB-C connection. I also wanted to match the white theme, so the Z270 Pro 4 from ASRock fitted the bill for me, and the price was pretty good too. I did also purchase a bigger CPU cooler too. I'm not too clued up about CPU coolers, so I just went with this deep cool Gamax 400 because it was white. And um, I'm not overly happy with it. While it cools really well, it literally sounds like there's a jet engine in my PC. I've tried turning it down in the BIOS, but it's still loud regardless of what I do. In hindsight, I should have spent a little bit extra and gone for an all-in-one liquid cooler, or just a quieter fan in general. After a few days of testing the performance, I'm happy to report the upgrade seems to have paid off nicely. I can get up to about 5 streams of 4K in Premiere before things start getting a little slow, which is way beyond what my old setup could manage. Warp stabilisation is definitely quicker, and export times are way shorter too. In other areas, things feel nice and snappy across the OS, and I know I'm in a good position CPU-wise for any gaming if I ever fancy to go down that route. So there's my new Premiere Pro 4K workstation. If you enjoyed this video, pop us a like, and if you have any tips for my setup, then please let me know. I'm all ears for new ideas.